What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about the top five squeeze stocks to add to your watch list for this upcoming week. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So starting off with data, there's a couple of Fed speakers throughout the week, but the main point to really watch for is going to be coming out on January 11th, and that is good old CPI. A lot of analysts have been really saying that this is going to be the key point within the broader market, whether this rally is starting to get picked back up or if it continues just to break down so cpi is going to be a very big one to watch for and so as a result that's going to have a lot of volatility core ppi is on friday as well but in reality like i said cpi is going to be the dictating factor and aside from that though there's a couple companies starting to unveil their earnings some banks friday so jp morgan uh, bank of america wells fargo so some of those could definitely cause some volatility in the broader market as Aside from that, Tilray, and that's going to be Tuesday before the market does open. And again, I'm sure you guys can see it, but the banks are Friday before the market does open. So getting into the top five plus my one bonus that I like to share with you, I'm going based on short interest, not the actual short score because short score is really skewed when it comes down to ortex so again i'm just going to be using short interest and i'm excluding any companies that have recently done any reverse stock splits because that once again does skew the numbers within ortex for a while but getting right to it stock number five this one ticker is bmea Biomea Fusion. So based on over the last one year, it is up 96.13%. So kind of interesting. I found this like it's very successful, supposedly based on the stock performance, but yet the short interest, like shorts are clearly doubtful about that. Year to date within the seven days, it is up 0.27. And on Friday, it did go down 3.86%. This is what they're all about right here. So biotech company, so you can always pause it, read it, and go over everything that you need to know. Also on a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as even looking at press releases, SEC filings, any previous earnings, fireside chats, take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium. I do have a seven day free trial for you in the the description below and also the comments and plus it makes it very easy to see if any companies have done any splits momentum everything so once again that's what this company is all about moving on to this so utilization is a 78.47 short score is 77.29 on friday shorts did increase about 19,000 shares 59.13 percent of the free flow is being shorted so in reality, if a company does a reverse stock split, that does skew the numbers behind the scenes with Ortex. But 59.13% is absolutely crazy, considering the stock performance over the last one year. So shorts are doubtful. Um, right now, 11.43 million shares overall are being shorted. Very low cost of borrow, so 2.25% is the average. So not all that high, but through interactive broker short availability does indicate only about 35,000 shares available to be shorted. So shorts kind of overextended with this one. So this one definitely one to watch for. Moving on to stock number four, this one was on the list prior based on the short score, but Riley or B Riley Financial, ticker is R-I-L-Y. Over the last one year, down 35.22. Year to date within the seven days, almost 8%, 7.5%. And on Friday, they went up 1.74. This is what they're all about. So investment banking and brokerage is the industry. So yeah, kind of seems very basic for that. But once again, utilization is 9501. It is on the threshold list. So keep in mind with that new SEC transparency rule, once that does get fully kicked in, companies that are on the threshold list, like whoever's shorting it, will have to disclose everything, right? So that might deter a lot of companies to not really push companies enough to be on the threshold list. I don't know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. But aside from that, 62.51% of the free flow is being shorted. On Friday, shorts increased about 412,000 shares. 10.17 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of our average is very interesting with this one. So you have a minimum of about 14.39 average of 251.35 usually interactive brokers is on the low end and they are even charging 111 and or 111 percent so 
kind of interesting. Um, right now, around 200,000 shares is available to be shorted. So this one, definitely add to your watch list. Moving on though, looking right here, so Golden Heaven Group Holdings, ticker is GDHG. That is a tongue twister if you say that many, many times. But over the last one year, it's not really populating, um, as you can kind of see right here. I guess it's been trading less than one year. So even looking over the last six months, down 85.81%. Um, over, I guess, Friday, down 3.97%. And this is what they are all about right here. Uh, so industry is leisure facilities. Um, and it looks like it is based out of China. So once again, take note of that. And maybe that's also one of the attributing factors why it is going down. And based on, I guess, some of the news, it looks like a lot of just IPO deals and I don't know, who knows. But aside from that though, I'm not here to talk on why stocks go down. It's just based on this information right here. So utilization is 84.95 on Friday. Shorts increased about 78,000 shares. 68.09% of the free float is being shorted and 1.19 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average, very similar to B Riley Financial is very high. So the average is 328.03%. Around 40,000 shares is available as well to be shorted. So this one kind of interesting as well. Uh, I don't know if the whole China factor might deter some investors from getting in on this, or that might be the factor, like I said, causing shorts to potentially get in. Who knows? Moving on, stock number two. I would like to show you this kind of screen, but it seems to be not loading for this company time and time again. But regardless, as you can kind of see right here, ADTX, currently there is about 79.64% short interest, which is absolutely crazy. It shows about 25.78% of the free flow is being shorted. And you can kind of tell just on when, like for instance, a company does a reverse stock split, how it does really skew the numbers. All these companies right up here have done kind of reverse stock splits uh, recently. So Again, just kind of do your own due diligence um, no matter what. And also on a side note, I'm not a financial advisor. But once again, uh, this definitely is very heavily shorted for whatever reason. And this company is, yeah, kind of interesting. Moving on to stock number one before I go over my bonus one, and that is Bolero, tickers B-O-W-L. I have seen this get a lot more popularity over the last little bit, so that might be positive. Over the last one year, up 4.05. So far, 2024 has not necessarily been the kindest to this company, down 5.13%. But on Friday, it did go up 3.2%, and even after hours, another 2.59%. This is what they are all about. So another company associated for leisure facilities in that industry, another company based out of the States. So yeah, uh, moving on though, utilization is 96.38. On Friday, shorts did increase 160.64 thousand shares. 85.8% of the free flow is being shorted. 170.86 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is a little bit lower. So this is where the difference between essentially when I covered short score versus the short interest. Short score would encumber the lower cost of borrow and not really give it that high of a rating. So that's kind of the difference between the two. But I have found that the short score, like nothing has really changed. A lot of companies have a very high cost to borrow. Nothing really changes fundamentally. So that's why they were always on the list. So on a side note, that's why I changed it to short interest. But anyways, cost to borrow average is 20.93%. And the reinteractive broker short availability does indicate around 55,000 shares available to be shorted. So in most of the stocks I did cover, shorts are overextended. And with the potential positive news of CPI that could really help the broader market, give it a nice second rally run, and that'll really deter shorts from getting in. Moving on to my bonus one though, this one is associated to a company unveiling their earnings this upcoming week, and that is Tilray. So ticker is T-L-R-Y over the last one year, down 22.5 or 45%. And then for 2024, it is up 2.7%. On Friday, it was down 0.44. This is what they are all about. So in case you don't know, I'm sure a lot of people already know the name of Tilray, but 
whatever, in case you don't, feel free to pause it. Moving on, utilization is 85.91, 16.63% of the free flow is being shorted, 122.47 million shares is being shorted, and based on Friday, shorts did increase 176.83 thousand shares. Currently, about 1.3 million shares available to be shorted, and cost of our average is relatively low, so about 2%. But because of this company's earnings and the potential catalyst or surprise catalyst or maybe better future guidance, that could really deter shorts from getting out. And just the whole cannabis sector has been extremely volatile over the last little bit. So once again, that could really help Tilray behind the scenes. So let me know your thoughts on these five plus one bonus stocks. Uh, what other stocks do you think is going to squeeze potentially this week and why? Just to share some knowledge with some other individuals. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. As well, one final thing, take advantage of this promo. It has been extended up until January the 15th. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. So for $100, you get five stocks, each valued up to $2,000. Complete crazy deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.